Luke Miss Prime here, so it's time for another Lego DC Bruns card to fear one coin for the tape going to be for General Zod. <laughs> now wow, General Zod, he's my favourite Superman villain, and yet wow, he looks so awesome in this game. I really love his new redesign. So different to previous Lego games, isn't it? So what can you do? Well, because he's Kryptonian like Superman, you probably guess what his abilities are already, right off the bat, so First of all, of course, he has powerful punches. He can ground pound on the ground. Plus, as well, he can rip up the ground because he's strong. So, he looks up the road. Yeah, cool. Also, as well, he can fly, of course. He can hyper jump, too. Whee. And, of course, as well, he has ice breath and heat vision. Now there's one thing I'm pretty disappointed about with, with the Kryptonian character in this game being that instead of it being two different buttons you hold down for the beam attack, so ice breath and of course heat vision. In this however it's a cycle, like in Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2 where you could cycle between heat and ice and like earth style abilities and electricity as well. You don't have Kryptonians in this so instead of holding down one button for the heat and the other for ice it's the same button for heat and ice so it cycles so Want to know A here for ice, and then after that, A again for heat vision. So, yeah, there you go. But luckily, when you target a particular object, it requires either heat or vision, specifically one of them. It does automatically switch to that one if you're on the wrong one. So, yeah, there you go. Anyway, on to General Zod. So, yeah, Zod is awesome. And, um, yeah, such a great supervillain, really, and one of the best to ever exist in comics, really. Just perfect character. And, um, so, um, you probably know how you unlock him, he's actually a file character, and his file is actually here in Metropolis, in the park, it's round here. So, here it is. Oh, he's, he's detective vision, that's cool. I think all Kryptonians have that. Here it is. Now a purple coin, not him, of course, because we already unlocked him. Now, unfortunately, he has, he has no dialogue in this game, in really, it's a bit of a shame. I do believe he's vocal about provided by Travis Willingham, so that's cool. Yeah, Travis is a great voice actor. He's also several other characters in this game, such as, of course, Superman, and also Talon, and several others too. See, so he's done lots of great voices for this game, yeah. And, uh, so yeah. Now, my favourite voice for General Zod, however, has to be, um, probably Nolan North, really. I think he's definitely got the best General Zod voice. He did also voice Zod in Lego Dimensions. I mean, the last game in which General Zod appears as a playable and speakable character is Lego Batman 2 DC Super Heroes, where he was voiced by, I think, Townsend Coleman. Yeah, because he was a boss character in the Hub world. Then in Lego Batman 3, he didn't appear in the base game, but he did appear via DLC in the Man of Steel DLC. So, it was good how he's included in that. Then Lego Dimensions, he did appear, taught boss by Nolan North, but he wasn't playable. And I, I was pretty good because I wanted to play that design, you know, based on New 52. That was a pretty great design. It's a bit of a shame, really. You need to fight him in the Ghostbusters universe, that was pretty cool. The Phantom Zone, if you will, pardon the pun. <laughs> um, so yeah, um... In this book, he's just downgraded to a non-speaking character who you unlock via the files that you find in the hub world. No one in the story at all. <laughs> so yeah, um, overall, in terms of live action though, there's been lots of great actors who've played him in live action, but my personal favourite live action Zod is definitely Michael Shannon from Man of Steel. You know, he totally nailed the role of Zod in that film. Great acting right there, the perfect choice for General Zod. Like, the way he delivered his lines was just top notch. It really was, and his anger as well and rage was great. And also, the fight scene between, between God and Superman was also so well done, too. Man of Steel is definitely my favourite DCEU film, without a doubt. It's just epic. The first one, too, that kicks off the whole franchise. So well done. I love that movie. And Shannon totally nailed the role of Zod in that film. I wish he could come back in a sequel, but I doubt it, because... If you've seen Batman vs Superman, Zod's corpse is taken by Lex Luthor and it's used to create Doomsday alongside Zod. No, sorry, Lex Luthor's blood. And of course, Doomsday then got destroyed by Superman using the Kryptonite spear at the cost of Luke's life, unfortunately. 
But then again, I can just flee, so that's great. We saw Suman again, at least, but no. Zod. And it turns out, though, you know, because I was wondering, you know, would Zod get resurrected in, in that film? Because, you know, Michael Shannon confirmed he'd film scenes as Zod in that film. But it turns out, you know, um, the corpse we saw of Zod in the film was not actually played by Shannon. It was actually, you know, um, you know, a, um, a plasticine design of, um, a bodybuilder called uh, Greg Plitt, and then Shannon's face was, was imprinted onto him, you know, you know, made onto that, you know, dummy. So Shannon did not film any scenes of Dawn of Justice at all. But yeah. And then other actors who played Zod well, you know, I loved uh, Terrence Stamp's portrayal of him in, in the first two Christopher Reeves Superman films. You know, great acting there from Terrence Stamp. And then, I do believe he was also in Smallville, I think. I don't know who played him in that, because I've not seen Smallville, you see. Plus, he also made a guest appearance in Supergirl Season 2 in the finale, um, where basically Superman is infected by Silver Kryptonite by uh, Terry Hatcher's character. And then, as a result, instead of seeing Supergirl, he sees General Zod. And the, the guy who played him, Mark Gibbon, he actually played Zod really well, just for that handful of scenes as a hallucination. That was pretty good acting, actually. I liked it, the portrayal of Zod. But I doubt we're going to see Zod in any, any future Arrowverse shows, because it turns out Superman actually killed Zod, so... So yeah, um, Zod may never return. But I hope he does, because Mark Gibbon really pulled it off playing him. Just that one episode. And he did a nice deep evil voice too. Plus, I also believe he's, he's also played in the Krypton TV show played by Colin Salmon. That's pretty cool. You know, um, Walter from Out and from Arrow playing General Zod. Awesome. Great act to Colin Salmon. But Michael Shannon takes a kick in my favorite live action Zod. So now we talked about what Zod, Zod can do in the game and how you, and how you unlock him and who, who voices him. Let's take a look at his character profile and read it. So he's known as, of course, Drew Zod, that's his real name. No affiliations. So he's detective mode, flight, immunity to fire, toxic gas, and I think that's goo, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Heat, yep. Hyper jump, ice. X-ray vision, super strength, smashing walls. So it's exactly the same as Superman's abilities, isn't it? Really, because he's the same species, Kryptonian. Now let's take a look at. at oh, he has a camera. So let's take a self of Agent Smith. It's pretty evil smile, isn't it? I love how his eyes are always glowing red too. That's pretty cool. Nice little detail there, showing you the evil. Huh. Look at his profile now. Sent to a Phantom Zone as punishment for treason, General Zod blames Superman's father, Jor-El, for his incarceration and vowed revenge on his family. Escaping years later, Zod arrived on Earth and gained powers equal to of Superman, becoming one of the Man of Steel's most famous rivals. And he first appeared in Avenged Comets issue 283, released in 1961. Awesome, so this year the video was up in 2020, was celebrating his 59th anniversary. Awesome, nearly 60 years he's been around Zod. Cool. So, this is me showing General Zod in Legacy Supervillains. So, um, be sure to give the video a like and also let me know in the comments what you think of General Zod in this game if you play this. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos coming in the future. And I will see you all later.